Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. Welcome to this edition of Scientifics, our weekly curation of globally important science stories. After the high-profile spotting and tracking of Oumuamua two years ago, we might be having another visitor from the interstellar space. The trajectory of comet GB00234 is so hyperbolic, it seems to indicate that this is yet another comet coming from outside of our solar system. Majority of asteroids and comets follow an elliptical path, typically X-shaped with minor deviations due to these objects straying too close to a planet or a body with strong gravitational pull. According to the European Space Agency, the comet will pass within 300 million kilometers of the Sun this year. The competition run by Natural History Museum in London announced its finalists for the 55th consecutive year last week. The final winners are expected to be announced in October. The contest included nearly 50,000 photos submitted by both professionals and amateur photographers from around the globe. The photographs reveal the changing nature of wildlife and this year's finalists show a fragile ecosystem affected by human activity. Neuroscientists in Germany trained a group of rats to play hide and seek. The researchers recorded joy jumps and ultrasonic giggles when the rats found humans or were caught by them. The rats were able to strategize where to hide, understand complex rules and perform calculations to hide in places that humans already checked. The rats enjoyed the game by itself without having to be motivated by food. According to a new research, the global heating is impacting soil's ability to absorb and store water. This is a matter of concern as soil is an effective carbon sink storing carbon dioxide. Adverse effects on the system implies more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and thus increased heating. The study is a result of a field experiment conducted over 25 years. The researchers say that the impact on soil from climate change could have implications for groundwater supplies and food production. This is Mohana Basu for The Print. Please subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos.